Hello everybody, so today is December 14th of 2020, current time 7, 19 p.m. And so um, pre-market I was looking at SCKT, 30 minutes before the market opened, so about right here I was looking at it. And so what I predicted is that it could go, um, go back down here to about... Uh, 290 uh 292 right about there oh. so right about there and i would like to see a bit of morning panic current at 314 and so um this was i was looking at it right here writing that and panic current at 3 uh, 14 towards uh, so I wanted to see a panic towards the 292 and by there uh, risk would be 2.86 so that would be right there and uh, but I'm not going to be eager I'm going to see how it reacts uh, first then buy and uh, we get into the mar the market open and I bought right here at 296. Um, I bought right here. You can see this arrow, but at 296. Uh, and then we could see how it reacted throughout the morning. Uh, we go more, and then eventually it just breaks out my my uh, risk level. Oh, again, I wanted to buy at 292, so um this where this is where I would have bought but again I, I saw the panic right here so since 330 uh 330 uh right there and then dropped all the way low of 2 I think it was 293 so 1 cent above for from my initial uh wanting position to buy so about right there so that's about 30 cents of downside 11 percent of downside and it topped out right here um, at 3.06 that's about 4.46 percent of upside 13 cents of upside and this is where it finally hits my price point of where I initially wrote down my thesis to buy and the highest it went was on this candle right here so which was 2.99 and then eventually turning over and breaking my uh, risk level which was at 2.86 and so uh, I cut my loss right there um, but I respected it so that was my plan to cut um, so I cut at 2.86 highest it went after I bought was three dollars and six wanted at least uh, 3.15 but was not there so just respected risk level even if I would have bought my initial price level which was 2.92 highest it went was uh, that 2.98 uh, what could I have done better I should have uh, I should have taken smaller profits um, at like that three dollar range back up right here um, right here at that three dollar level uh, couldn't break 3.04 again couldn't break this right here um, couldn't break that 3.05 uh, and so I should have sold around this little um, this little time frame for small profits or um, if we look at the bigger thing the bigger picture uh, throughout the whole market uh, the better opportunity to buy would have been to buy at my price level, which uh, at my risk level actually, which was 2.86. So that would have been right here and selling about, uh, my price level was to sell at 3.4, 315. My, my risk, on uh, my reward for the first initial one. So right here. So this would have been my, uh, selling point so about 10% of upside uh, 10 yeah 10% 10 of upside and 29 cents of upside so that would have been the better opportunity 
but right here was where it was just chopping deciding where it wanted to go throughout the whole day and then eventually again same 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 and then eventually breaking that uh, and then we get a nice uh, spike but not as much as um, not much uh, not much room for uh, profitability and again you could have bought right here at um, I would say like that 2.98 sold that 3.11 for about almost 5% but that's not the better opportunity would have been this right here buying at my pro at my risk level and selling about average 3.12 uh, about 9% and 26 cents of upside and that was my trade for today and that was a four dollar loss so not much of a big loss and so uh, that was a good learning lesson um, so I did stick to my plan. I respect my risk level. And uh, next next thing I want to do on my next trade is capitalize on smaller gains. And so what I'm uh, swinging overnight uh, is CREX. Uh, bought at I bought right here, right at the top, almost near the top. So the top right here is um, uh, 1.39 highest before the close uh, bought at um, 1.38 uh, I think it was like right here where I bought so um, I'll put a price level right there and um, I could talk about what my prediction would be for tomorrow um, as you could see it's at 1.3 uh, aftermarket and my risk was to cut at um, 1.30 which is a good support zone right there and so uh, let's look at at the time frames um, we could go uh, three months uh, three months a day uh, I think it could have another uh, green day tomorrow at least to like the 45s ish or so um, it has two consecutive green days and so what tomorrow I think uh, and I had a lot of volume today too and so what I think tomorrow could be uh, could have even more and that's just a prediction I do have my risk in mind so I'll do have that but let's look back at more at time um, let's go to six months uh, again I think it could break out go to at least even 168 um, and just have more um, more upside so about um, I would love it to go to 180 right here but I think it would have to uh, fight um, that 138 139 which uh, it did top out before I bought and uh, it could probably go to 165 um, but I don't have a large position in that so that could be um, not much of a loss but a greater win and so that's what my two trades I have for today. Um, yeah, if you did learn something from this video, comment down below and like the video. Peace out, guys.